cute and beautiful is you on your afternoon morning walk? Got some shorts. I updated my resume. A recruiter on LinkedIn reached out to me. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. It's time to get it's just time to get ourselves ready to head to Charlotte, well, really Concord, North Carolina for the day. Gotta pee so bad. I literally just go to bed. I had my alarm set for five, but I was like, when it went off, I was like, absolutely not. And then I quickly calculated, do I really need to be up at five? Um, no. So I laid back down. Unfortunately, I laid on the floor basically because our air mattress is deflated. Only a few more days on this dang air mattress, and then we can get to our new apartment where we have real a real mattress. Okay, I'm having I'm struggling this morning. Hmm, I feel like they're sitting on my contact. Maybe it's just not stuck to my eyeball all the way. That feels fine. I did the curly hair girl method last night because I wanted to have clean hair. And I did not feel like blow drying it because in just a couple days I'm being sweaty and gross with all the moving. Today we're not gonna forget deodorant. I think I'm actually gonna wear a shirt that is underneath this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on deodorant. I'll eventually take this sweatshirt off. I just it's always so cold in here. I need to put on a bra. There's some shirts that I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just wear like pasties or something. And then even with a t-shirt, I can get away with no bra, but I just, I feel more put together when I have a bra on because I'm already kind of bummy and just a t-shirt. These are the other little shorts that I got at Target and I'm gonna wear these today. This is gonna be, be in all black, kind of what I'm at today. I'm gonna head down to Charlotte. I'm thinking first thing we're gonna do is go straight to the vending machine. We're gonna unlock that. The girl that is purchasing it, she's also purchasing five thousand five thousand five hundred dollars worth of nails and I pressed them at a dollar piece, so I need to make sure that I parcel out five hundred sets of nails for her. And I need to clean the vending machine like I wanna wipe down the glass and everything. She's coming at like three thirty. But because I need to do all the like cleaning and counting all the nails and all that, I'm supposed to do that before the mall opens. But since I'm supposed to have all that cleaning and stuff done before the mall opens, that's why I gotta head down there now, get all that stuff together. And basically, I'm chilling out. I think she gave them the, her deposit and everything, so I don't even think I owe for August rent, but I can stop at the office just to double check because I was gonna go on Saturday and pay my rent then and do all of this then, but since we moved it to today, I hadn't paid my rent for next month for that vending machine. So I'll probably apply for some jobs, catch up on my emails. I still haven't canceled my car, member, car wash membership so I keep carrying the pamphlet inside the house to do it, outside back out to the car to do it. So I need to do that. I did change my address with my bank online yesterday. So finally got that done. You can't tell, I really don't like adulting. It's like a bunch of errands and a bunch of things and I just don't like doing them all the time. Unfortunately, I'm the only person that can do them. So got to do them sometimes. But yeah, there isn't really too much. I'm just kind of chilling doing a couple things. My daughter wants me to look up her flight info because she's flying back to North Carolina uh, after a week of being in Florida. She's helping me move down and then she's flying back. It's going to take me about two and a half hours, two, three hours actually, depending on traffic to get to Charlotte today. Don't tempt me with a good time at a local restaurant or a local coffee shop. That's That right there is my jam. I'm not, I mean, I do go to Starbucks and all of that and I will eat from there, but if I can have something better or the same at a local place and I can support local, like catch me at the local place over the big box place. 
as much as I can, you know. Of course, you can't avoid all the time. Well, I'm all greased up like a mole rat right now, so I'm gonna try to let this soak in while I try to wake Scout up and get her outside, and then come back to my makeup, switch my outfit. I don't know what's wrong. So, okay, so last night I made the vet visit and stuff, but when we got home, I was like, well, let me put a little bit of dry food in my hand and see if she'll eat that. She ate that no problems. But maybe because we had just gotten home from a walk and she's hungry, she's tired, she's thirsty. Scout is a bottomless pit and she never turns down food. That's why it's so weird that she would be like not wanting to eat her food because she'll literally eat anything. But she's eating treats just fine. There's something about the food versus treats. Like she had three bones on our walk last night. Three or four mo like doggy bones on our walk last night, so. I don't know, I'm confused. I will catch you guys a little bit later. I wanted to be out the door by seven and it's 7.14, so let's get on the road. I feel, I always feel like when I go on these trips to go to my vending machines that I'm forgetting something, but I have extra nails in case this needs to count into the 500 that I need. Um, or I have, you know, the nail thing in case I need to take some nails home with me. I have that, I have my little light thing that attaches to my phone, I have my tripod, I have my laptop. I did not grab the thing for the car wash that's inside, so I did forget that, but I'm not going back in for that. And I have my wallet, which has my AirPods, my checkbook in case I do need to write a check for August rent. Though it seems like this girl is starting her lease August 1st, so I think we're good to go. We'll just have to double check on that while we're there. We can swing by the mall office. I have my water, sunglasses, keys to get back inside, my phone, myself. I'm fully dressed, got deodorant on. I put that on with y'all this morning. I did forget my allergy pills. Dang it. Okay, well, a couple things I forgot. I think I'll be okay. Let's get this show on the road. I even took a quick little cute picture of Scout because she's so darn cute this morning. I mean, she's always cute. And I was like, dang, I'm gonna miss her today. We're together like literally almost 24 seven. It's rare that we have, we spend time apart. You guys can see that it's usually, we're only apart for a couple hours a day. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. So I took a little picture of her that I can look at throughout the day if I want. Now that I don't have plenty of other pictures of her. Whoa, whoa, we're halfway to the mall. I haven't had breakfast or coffee or anything. I've just been surviving on water this morning. I am so hungry. We did it. We're at the mall. I gotta get this inside the mall. There she is. My little pink monster. Yay. We made it. A lot of you might know just because I really just started my YouTube channel and my journey. I only got this machine in January of this year, 2023. And now it's July and I am selling it because I don't live in Concord or Charlotte area. I live in Raleigh, so it's very hard to come and service the machine. And I'm not coming here today. I noticed that there's something wrong with my flash drive and I have an Apple laptop. I can't just squeeze that flash drive in there, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Frustrating because I can't come out here and just check my vending machine every Saturday, know that it's working, you know, clean it, stock it, all of those things. I will be moving to Florida on Thursday, as you guys know. So it's gonna be even harder to service it, you know, check on it and blah, blah, blah. So I found a buyer. We're meeting here today. I think she's signing her lease today. She's got everything pretty much worked out. So I am so excited to get rid of this and have a fresh new start. I do have one other vending machine. It's an independent small in Wilmington, North Carolina. And I am still actively trying to sell that one as well. Pack this baby open. We're gonna count out 500 sets of nails for her. We've got our extra nails here, as you guys saw. We're gonna clean it with our cleaning supplies. You gotta get the cash out and take that to the bank. 
I cannot forget that. That's money I've already earned. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. This is my first count before I did anything, and I came up with 479. I'm putting that on video so I don't freaking forget because I want to do double count in case I counted a row twice or miscounting a row. I have now counted this machine three times. And every time I get a little bit of a different answer. So what I think I'm going to do is count tray by tray and just add the individual trays up because apparently I can't count to 100. I'll get counted, I'll go to like 65 and then go to 70. Or something like that like i don't know i'm having brain farts over here just got done counting each row and adding each row up individually and i got 489 which is what i got when i did my second count so we're gonna go with 489 and we're gonna give her what um 11 more nails in here and then the rest is going home with me and then we're off to freaking find some yummy food because i'm hungry and i need to hit up my banker and see if he wants to eat he became a personal friend after we stopped working together and then when I needed help finding a bank for my business, he became my banker. So it's my last time that I would get to see him so I'm going to see if he's available for lunch. I never showed you guys any of the nail sets that are in here but they're so cute. These are one of my best sellers on Etsy. Let's see, I love these like 3D cartoon kind of nails. I think these are really cool. They have like green squigglies at the top. I have such a variety. Like a coffin, like this shape nail um, is a bestseller. So that's why you see so many. Then I have like something if you want more of a fall color. Like I try to keep a little variety of everything. If you're a kid and you're in here shopping and you want some rainbow nails we got those too but this is the free set that i'm leaving down below for somebody to grab Woohoo! we finally cleaned the machine got the 500 nails all counted down and in there i texted my friend michael who is now my banker for my business and we are going to grab coffee and i am headed there right now and i'm so freaking excited because i'm hungry i'm thirsty i need caffeine does it look like i need caffeine no, but I do. I promise you. Caffeine helps me level out my craziness. <laughs> I don't know why, but these things just hit my like mind of to-do list for this girl that's going to buy my vending machine. During the time between now and the time that I meet her later on this afternoon, I need to make a list of all my preferred vendors. I kind of do that in my notes, and I'll probably just take a screenshot and email it to her email her the owner's manual so she knows how to do certain things like change prices if she wants to switch out the products or something like that i am so excited i just got done having lunch with my banker who's also my friend mike and i counted up all the cash that i took out my vending machine and it was 686 dollars and just put that into my business account that's going to pay for my rent on my other vending machine because my one in Wilmington is doing terrible and it's not even cash flowing. I have basically an hour before I need to be back at the mall. So I'm kind of thinking about going to the mall. I still haven't done the vendor list or anything like that. But like, I think it'll be okay if I do it tonight and send it to her tonight. I was thinking about doing a little retail therapy. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm off to go hang up the mall. Try to get this vendor list together and wait around for this girl. First, I gotta get gas because I am on 37 miles until I am empty. I'm back at the mall to do a little bit of retail therapy, maybe. I don't know. I'm only buying things that my heart is really desiring, not just to frivolously spend. Of course, I had to make a stop at Old Navy. Old Navy, what are you doing? The workout section online is way cuter than in store. Okay, we're gonna try on these. We'll see how they do. Bye. I forgot how much booty I have. 
about 10 minutes away from meeting the new owner. She has already signed her lease. I do not even owe August rent. Chef's kiss. Now I just have one more vending machine to try to sell, which obviously will not sell before I move. But I think I'm going to go over there tomorrow evening. OMG. I just spent the last hour running around with Monica, the new owner of my old vending machine at the Con Concord Bills Mall. Y'all should go by and check it out and support Monica because now she is a business lady and she owns her own vending machine. But I have a jillion nails, so if anybody wants some parcel nails, hit me up. But I am starving. I've only had a muffin and a coffee today and I am a skip no meals kind of girl. Like, I will eat three meals in a snack. I'm starting to get a little cranky, but I started my directions because honestly, I don't know how to make it back to Raleigh without directions. I am starting my drive back home and I just plan on stopping to get something to eat and maybe a coffee. Yeah. Hello, good, how are Hi. you? Well, can um, I get a name for the order? Yes, it's gonna be Rachel, R-C-H-E-L. All right, what can I get started for you? Can I get a spicy chicken sandwich? Of course, so would you like that as a meal with fries and a drink or just a sandwich? Mm, I think I'll just get the um, sandwich. sandwich and some fries. I don't really want a soda though. No, you're okay. So, can I do new pickles on the sandwich? Of course. No pickles, or any, any sauces for that, ma'am? Um, no, that's all, but what size fry did you put down for me? Uh, medium. Can I do that large? A large, of course. I'm so excited! <laughs> I was on the phone with my daughter for so long that I never stopped to get food that I kept looking for Chick-fil-A because I'm like, if I have to eat fast food, I'm only going to eat Chick-fil-A. These thighs, they need some food on them. I haven't had a waffle fry in too long. Oh my gosh, I got a spicy chicken salad and a waffle fry. I'm not really a soda girl, so I just sticked with my water. It is 8.09. Yeah, it is 8.09 and we were literally like five, seven minutes from my apartment. I am so glad that I stopped and ate something because I'm feeling much better. I was very hangry and angry and hungry. And I knew that I needed to be ready to go because Scout is going to want to go out. She wants to get her evening walk. Luckily, it's not too dark outside. So we're going to get in, grab her up, get her in the evening walk, feed her a late dinner, and then probably take her outside again a little bit later on after she eats to do her last potties of the night. Oh my goodness, I feel so bad. I never expected to be out this late. I thought I was going to be home by like 5. Because I was supposed to meet the girl at 3, but then she did come to like 3.30, 4 o'clock. So, anyway, I'm glad I sold the vending machine. So that's good. I just, a little bit later of in the evening, and I'm just worried about my baby because I don't normally leave her for so long like this just unattended for the day you know i mean she's good i used to do this when i would work in an office so i'm sure she's fine i just worry about my baby you know my best part of my day best part of my day right here in the seat i got to go home and pick up my baby and i am so excited we're going out on a little dog walk even though it's kind of like almost pushing on a clock so I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging. Tomorrow is my last full day in Raleigh, y'all. Then I'm out. I'm moving to Florida.